What's up everybody? My name's Chance. Today we're gonna be playing the blue white artifact deck and Q intro. Alright. So yeah, we'll play our three games as usual. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the deck, and you'll have to excuse me, I was actually playing the constructed deck. Here it is. Artifacts Attack. I like the alliteration. Nonetheless, this uh, deck is pretty self-explanatory in the name. It's all based on artifacts. It's uh, it's alright. It gives you some pretty good cards with uh, Settle the Wreckage, and uh, where's... Uh, Aerial Engineer is alright. Um, just in general. In this deck, he's pretty good. Uh, Azor, uh, I think it gives you two legendaries. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. So, I think this is the last deck we actually have to play. And you have to excuse me, I actually made a Demir deck. It's called 33 because it has 20 land, 20 creatures, and 20 spells in it, so you know, each or 33% of the deck. And I basically just built it using the starting cards and a couple, I think, that I unlocked in packs. But, actually I think three, maybe like five, five or seven cards I unlocked from packs or uh, unlocked using my wild cards. Let's see, sorry I was talking, wasn't really paying attention. Um, we'll keep it. It's not the best opening hand. Sorry, that's my girlfriend. Gotta see if she needs me. Oh, nope. Wasn't actually. Straight talk telling me about my phone service. Wow, he mulliganed twice. That's a good sign. Maybe he didn't get anything. Hmm. Hopefully he's not playing a merfolk deck. I've already discovered it's not very fun to play against a merfolk deck. So she'll actually go up to a 2-2 next turn when we play the Field Creeper, which is pretty good. I do like the art for the Field Creeper as well. The Scarecrow looks pretty dope. Oh. Wow, that card's really circumstantial. I haven't played this deck too, too much, so you have to explain, or explain. You have to excuse me if I make any, uh mistakes or mishaps very likely to happen so all right now we got two creatures with two power and so far he's not showing anything which is good I thought he was playing a merfolk deck although with having two mana on the board like that and he hasn't played one maybe not I don't know what kind of blue green deck he'd be playing though let's see what is <laughs> what is going on he's scaring me with the fact Scaring me. He's scaring me with the fact that uh, he's not playing anything. <laughs> Alright, um. Well, I wouldn't really say that we played well that game. I'm not quite sure what was going on in his hand. Maybe he only drew land cards or something? Mm hmm. Let's get our 50 gold for the win. And hop on to game two. Unfortunately, I am gonna have to keep it strict with the three games today just because uh, I'm running on a limited time schedule. So, hope you guys understand. Also, I'm recording two today because I missed one yesterday and I apologize about that. So, just didn't have enough time in the day. Took my girlfriend out for a date. Hope you guys can understand. This starting hand is. Uh, we have a turn three and turn four. Uh, let's go ahead and play the meandering, meandering river. It's a dope picture. I think that's how you say it, meandering. Well, surprisingly, he didn't play anything turn one or turn two. If we can get our aerial engineer out, that'll actually be pretty good because we have two of them. And two 4-4 four, four flyings is not something to sneeze at. 
Militia Fugler. Is he playing a white mono deck? Okay. Alright. Next turn we'll be able to deal five to him as long as he doesn't have an answer. Oh shit, that's not nice. Alright, we're gonna wait to get our other aerial engineer. More than likely he will attack with Leonin and whenever he does we'll settle settle the wreckage. It will give him a huge spike in land, which is unfortunate, so it means we're going to have to try and win quick after that, but I think we can do it. We'll do a 5 damage next turn. Yeah. Um. wonder if we can do it before he gets his 2-1-1 one, one life links out. Yes, we can actually. That's nice. Okay, so he's not as ahead as what I thought, but still seven. Okay, he still got him out too. Damn, I should have waited till after they played then, I guess. Eh, I don't know, because now he only has one out with a 1-1 one, one lifelink, and that's not too good. Although he is healing up, and we do need to play faster since he's ahead of us now in land. I don't know. It It'll have to play out to see whether or not that play was worth it. Hmm, that's not good. I don't think I have any way to deal with his enchantments either. Let's just get out another one. We can go and attack with both because we can just block with our aerial engineer, so I'm not too worried about a 1 1 lifelink. Unless he enchants the fuck out of it, in which case I made the wrong call there, huh? Of course, if he does that, we'll have bigger problems at hand. Honestly, I just need one more land and I can get Azor out. Not that he's the best legendary, but with this much land, we'd be able to what? Well, with enough land to cast him, you'll be able to draw three cards, gain three life. We're not going to block him. Because if we do, then he gets something that can counter our aerial engineer, and right now that's all we really have going for us. Yeah. Next turn, that'll be 10 damage to him. This turn, we can deal 5. Which means we have lethal next turn if things stay in the status quo. Well, he'll attack, so we won't have lethal a lot. Let's see if he has something else to deal with our Azor. He can't use an Exile. Uh, what was it? Seal Away? He can't use Seal Away. He already, already used Hiromancer's Cage. Unless he has another one. That would suck. Let's see. His 4-2 four, four isn't that good. 6 mana for... Okay. Well, unless he can play some, I guess it would buff his Ajani. Yeah. Well, thankfully we're not playing a black deck. First strike. Okay. He's all tapped out, so he can't buff his Ajani. I wonder what... Well, he's actually planning on that, because even... Get two four fours out. Oh, he only got one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It only works for one. Okay. 
That's really good. Okay, so let's get Aether Shield Artifi Artificer. I think it's Artificer. Artificer? Artificer. Artificer. Alright, so he has Indestructible. He can kill him. Okay. I don't I don't have anything to Don't have anything to pay unfortunately. He'll take out my aerial engineer, but I'll deal non damage and the thing is next turn if he doesn't defend or if he doesn't have an answer to one of my flyings, then that's game. And it doesn't seem like it, because he's really scrambling for an answer right now, so. That's actually marvelous. Oh. <laughs> this might be GG. Vita doesn't have an answer. Can't be blocked. Um, gain three life. Okay, he's just trying to heal up out of it. Maybe just block against my Azor. But even if he blocks against my Azor, my Thopter will still kill him with my Aerial Engineer. I think he's dead no matter which combination of creatures he blocks next turn if he doesn't do something. not gonna help him. Oh well yeah, I guess it will it heals, heals him. I didn't think about that. Okay, so he'll he'll make it another turn. He's trying desperately to survive. I don't uh he'll attack with his one ones maybe. Do a lifelink. See him attacking with Knight of Grace. Wow, he didn't attack with anything. Let's see. How much can we pay? It's two, and that's one. We have four. Sweet. Either he's got a really good answer, or he just killed his dragon for no reason. Also, those four cards we just drew were really shitty. Three lands and another field creeper. Can he heal up enough? He's up to six. How the fuck did he get up to six? Oh, okay. Well, no, we don't have anything. How the fuck did you get up from two to six? You only gained one life. He only has one of them. I don't know. Beats the hell out of me. Either way, we should still be good. <laughs> Our hand's not looking great. But at least we got those cards out of the way, so maybe now we can draw some good cards. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't really help him, though. He still doesn't have enough to wipe us. We 
stand together. Look how far you've come. He's gonna attack with those two. Still gonna lose. Even with that. <laughs> I think he realizes that. All I have to do is not block him. Nice. Alright, so we actually won. Game two. Nice, nice. Took a little bit longer than what I would have hoped. But, nonetheless, on to game three. We'll see if we can pick up one more. And then wrap this video up, because like I said, I am on a time schedule. It's already 12.20, so. Oh, Bill 52. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I was going to say this is a very unique name. And at first I was being like a sarcastic asshole. But in actuality, that <laughs> probably is a unique name. Uh, return target creature to its owner's hand. Mm. Yeah, that's a mulligan. That's alright. We have a turn two, three, four play. And a little defensive, so I'll, I'll keep it. against Golgari. Hmm. What if he's running supportlings? Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a yes to that question. Um I'm not gonna worry about dispersing him right now. Alright. We will attack because he's not gonna block with his spore crown. I don't know why he didn't attack with his fork round. Maybe he thought I had something. Yeah, I think I go for the early rush. Go ahead and get out, aerial engineer. Try and capitalize on his presence early. Or have that happen. It's okay. I'll get one out next turn. Unless he plays something I need to disperse, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. I will have to disperse that. Although, I should get my aerial engineer out first, then disperse it, I guess. Okay. 
We won't attack. Ow. Sorry. My ear was itching and my headphones were on, so I'm sure my hair is all kinds of crazy. That's unfortunate, actually. Hmm. Throws a wrench in my whole plan. <laughs> Oh, we'll be able to do two damage next turn, but that's about it. Okay. Now he's getting out of hand. Probably will need to disperse one of his creatures back to his hand. Um, yeah, Aviation Pioneer isn't really going to solve our problems right now. And neither is the planes. Damn, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Scratch what I said. Oh wait, it only costs two for him to play it. Mm. Oh, but it did two cost two green, so I guess return turn. These draws are not helping me out. <sighs> Unfortunately, also, the summoning of the Thopter didn't help our Relic Runner get unblockable. This game is not looking good. God damn it. I'm holding out hope. I'm not giving up quite yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I'm giving up hope. God damn. That's a... <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Good game. I'll let him have it. There's no card in this deck strong enough to deal with that many monsters that far out of reach. Uh, but <clears throat> we did win our first two, even though the first one was kind of a fluke. I'll still take it. Um, second one was a long, hard fought match. We'll open our pack, see what we get. Uh, we got another. Uncommon and a Molder Hulk. Thought about making an undergrowth deck with uh, Golgari. Assassin's Trophy is really good. Alrighty, nonetheless, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Um, oh, quick thoughts on this deck. Uh, let's see, where is it? You can make an artifact deck. This is not how I would do it. Aerial Engineer is a good artifact card. Aviation Pioneer is alright if you don't really have any, much else to work with, you know. Uh, Seal Away is good. Aether Shield Artificer. If you're making an artifact deck, pretty good. Settle the Wreckage, great card. Um, Tashar, very, very situational. Nonetheless, it's it's a mediocre deck. Gives you some good cards, though. So, thanks for watching. Leave a like down below. Comment if you have any questions, concerns, yada yada. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys 
tomorrow.